feet. I'd like to ask Mr. Doral to lead us in prayer and Mr. Higginbotham lead us in play. Let's pray. Thank you, dear Heavenly Father, for this good day and the blessings of our life. Watch over our family and friends, dear Jesus. Bless our soldiers, dear Heavenly Father, that's fighting for our freedom, dear Heavenly Jesus. Thank you for all that you do for us. Heavenly Father, give us the knowledge and understanding to make the best decisions for our county, Lord. Heavenly Father, bless our county. Walk with us, Lord. Teach, guide, and direct us. Heavenly Father, thank you for all that you do, but most of all, for the plan of salvation. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. May be seated. Please check in. Wait, can you check him? Thank you. Thirteen present. We have a quorum. Uh, first item on the agenda is approval of previous meeting minutes. What's the pleasure? Mr. Chairman, I make a motion. We approve. Kids, there's second. Second, Mr. Chairman. Second by order. Discussion. Please vote yes or no. Press confirm. Change the vote. Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 13 yes, motion passed. Notary public application approval. What's the pleasure, buddy? Mr. Chair. Mr. Orr. Motion by Orr, second by Nance. Yeah. Discussion? Please vote yes or no. Press confirm. Where are you going to vote? I didn't vote. <laughs> this is so. Does anyone wish to change their vote? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 13 yes, motion passed. Committee reports and minutes. What's the pleasure? Mr. Chairman, make a motion to approve the committee reports and minutes. By order. Second by kids. Discussion. Please vote yes or no. Press confirm. Does anyone wish to change their vote? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 13 yes, motion passed. Budget amendments and other funding resolutions. Sure. Motion, motion by Stanfield. Please. Second by work. Yes. 5125.5. Have a motion second. Any discussion? Please vote yes or no. Press confirm. Five one through five twenty five. Does anyone wish to change the vote? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. Thirteen yes. Motion passed. Approval of payment for monthly travel card. Next item. So please try. Second motion by Bruce. Bruce. Second by Kitts. Discussion. Please vote yes or no. Press confirm. Does anyone wish to change their vote? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 13 yes. Motion passed. Reports from county officials and departments. Mr. Chairman. Commissioner Orr. Motion we approve the reports from county officials and all departments. Including the Board of Education. Second that, Mr. Turner. Second by kids. Discussion? Please vote yes or no. Press confirm. Does anyone wish to change your vote? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 13 yes. Motion packed. 
Reports from organizations receiving funding from the county. Can I hear a motion? Mr. Chairman. Commissioner Orr. I make a motion to approve the reports from organizations receiving funding from the county. Looks like we have to do it. Do I hear a second? I second that, Mr. Chairman. Second by Kitch. Discussion? Please vote yes or no, press confirm. Does anyone wish to change their vote? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 13 yes, motion passed. Other matters, uh, just got an information piece. Uh, county mayor portion, Homeland Security grant will be coming around next month. Tourism Enhancement Grant. We have applied on behalf of Lonish Young Park. Uh, hear a motion for approval. That's so moved. Motion by Goins. Second by Higginbotham. Discussion? Mr. Chairman, you're talking about grants right before we got to this part about the bar. Mm -hmm. uh, will we get some kind of information before this grant is actually brought to the commission next month? Yes, we will. This is the week where <clears throat> all the uh, EMA directors actually meet with Homeland Security and they tell them what's changed in, in categories of dollars and categories of support. So he'll bring it back for next month. Mr. Chairman, a small detail from you for the public's view. Will you tell us exactly what the grant's going to be for, please? It's the normal operations of our emergency manager. Uh, so for communications equipment, the communications trailer, uh, the vehicle operations, uh, our crash truck, um, oil spill recovery, oil spill recovery, uh, traffic response, uh, those types of things that Jay normally takes care of. So it's everyday operations. What's so, the amount of the grant? Don't know that just yet. So, but it'll be very similar to the operational budget from last year. Commissioner Orton. I'd actually found out this week from another commissioner from another county that a lot of their EMA left over, and I don't know, I don't think there's nobody here tonight uh, from finance, so I don't think there's a whole lot of left over. They've been using theirs, other counties, uh, this was specifically Anderson County, to put fire hydrants in. Hmm. And uh, that may be something we want to look at as it goes on, because we're kind of tight budgeted on fire hydrants for about $4,500, $4,600. Uh, and I know Jay uses it goodly, you know, uh, with the fire service using the radios and with the sheriff's department. And uh, but I don't want to take nothing that's that's needed away from that department. We need definitely look at that if we have any left over. Appreciate those comments. Anybody? Okay. For the tourism, tourism enhancement grant, I have a motion to second. Any other discussion? Please vote yes or no. And press confirm. Mr. Chairman, this also was, we voted on this as a straw vote last Monday night. Correct. We have applied to supplement the uh, excavation, tree removal, and those sorts of things to get our septic system. Mr. Chairman, also while we're talking about that and waiting on the nine volt battery here, um, you're talking about the fire hydrants. Uh, you heard anything about. Yeah, lane has got one right here. Still one from Dwayne's. Uh, yeah, these are D's, this big box of batteries up here. Stick it to your tongue, see if it's getting juiced. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Stick it to your tongue. Does anyone wish to change their vote? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 13 yes, motion passed. Female litter control officer hire for the month of June. Uh, put it on there for approval. We will have the budget amendment ready for budget finance in June. Uh, the sheriff asked 
if he could borrow the keys to the truck today and said he'd put a patrol out and, and start helping with the litter control. So until we can get Glenn's back on. How is Glenn this? Uh, he's uh, going to get an update on Wednesday. His spirits are good. Um, mobility is so-so. He tore his complete bicep tendon out also, didn't he? I can't tell you from here, but... No, I'm, uh, you still looking two to three weeks, maybe, if he gets to come uh, back? We'll find out something more on Wednesday. Thank you. Okay, so we can move that to uh, next month with the budget resolution. Okay. Uh, item number four, resolution declaring the county closed to commercial ambulance services in the event the current owner of the private medical transport company operating here ceases to own and operate that service. What's well, a pleasure to buy? Mr. Chairman, I know I left before the EMS committee got finished the other night. Scotty, can you take that rest of that what you decided on it? Uh, I think uh Drew you here, right? What uh, what all did you decide you was going to do on that? Can I have another question, Mr. Chairman? Okay, for Joe, are you prepared with all the ins and outs and ifs and ands and all that for this? No. That's why I was wanting to bring it before. Uh, do Joe you need? And, do we need to wait till next month to bring this before and? have another set down meeting or you think we need to go on forward with I know that everybody is in place that you've sent me across has said we're in good shape and we're fine I, I, I don't uh, if we want to go to record I need a motion and a second to discuss it. you can rescind your motion okay you want to need a motion to discuss it or what do you want what, what kind of motion, motion you need that's a valid motion okay I want to make a motion we can we need to discuss it because at the when Rusty left it still wasn't decided second exactly. motion. Second, second second motion. Okay. we wasn't to decide exactly what we were going to do so that's why I want to turn it over to Joe on it Discussion. I, I don't know that there would be any additional information that we don't already have. Uh, and we've, we've gotten advice from, uh, from CPAS, from, from Ron Bradshaw, uh, and I don't, I don't know of any other source from which we would, would get additional opinions. And I agree with that. You know, they have told us, uh, and they sent us uh, the statute, the Attorney General's opinion, which says that counties have the uh, legal authority to operate the services as, as a monopoly, as a single, single uh, And we're not the only county that's actually did this either. This is this is nothing that we're not actually cutting the right away to start. It's already there. There's, there's, there's already precedent for it. Uh, you know, I've been with you that there's uh, the same power that municipalities have within their boundaries. Right. So, uh, but it will have, to have nothing to do with the one that we have in existence right now, just in case it changes hands. The way I understand the resolution that you have, that would be correct. It will not harm the one that's already in existence unless it goes to this different ownership. That would be Thanks, included, included in the does that, Joe, does that need to be done before that they agree to sell it? Or can we wait till after they, whatever? <laughs> I, I, I don't know that they would ever approach this commission. Well, they probably wouldn't, but what I'm saying is the, the, the interest in it right now, if you don't do it before, in other words, if they just up and sold it to somebody, what would the county commission have, what could they do then? The point that you're making is that uh, would it be better if you're going to do this, do it before rather than after? Uh, probably before. And, and uh, uh, is there any guarantee that there would not be some litigation over it? No, there's not. But the risk doesn't get less next month. <coughs> no, there's not. One more thing, Mr. Chairman. Uh, back years ago when actually this took place they're actually that entity actually has to come before the mayor's office and bring financial information and all that yearly right 
Uh, Mr. Chairman, if I may, uh, going by Joe's advice on just going ahead and forward with it, I want to make a motion we go ahead and approve this. Have a motion by order. There your second. Second, Mr. Chairman. Second by kids. Further discussion? Please vote yes or no. Pressing firm. Does anyone wish to change their vote? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 11 yes. Motion passed. No votes by Higginbotham and Stanfield. Motion carried. Okay. To the Commissioner's agenda, Commissioner Stanfield. One thing I had to address, Mayor, was the marquee, and I think we've already decided where it's going to be. The rest of the you follow up. Actually, Ralph and I and Dwayne Baird had went down, and Ralph uh, and we all come to the same conclusion that's the best spot for it. And then I had to let it go off. Commissioner Ork. Yes, Mr. Chairman, the only thing that we had at the EMS committee meeting uh, two Thursdays ago, we discussed of uh, the sign-on bonuses uh, to try to bring in extra work. And Jeff has done the numbers and approved them. And I thought we were going to have to go through actual the commission's approval. And I think that's interdepartmental to make those decisions, but uh, me and Jeff had actually talked afterwards, and the committee approved it unanimously to go after this. We're spending about $260,000 a year in overtime. Hopefully, and that's where this money's going to come from, and hopefully this will cut our overtime down and keep us some people here working. It's not that we've started something new. Other counties already started it. Some other counties are going to implement it here later on. Uh, all we need is to approve the policy and I'll make a motion we do that. And that's what the uh, actual EMS committee approved. Motion to endorse by Ork. Do I hear a second? No, second. Second, Mr. Chairman. Second by Carl Douglas. Discussion? Uh, yeah, on this discussion part, uh, to add to, uh, to concur with Mr. Uh, Ork, this also will, we, we're still needing, um, Mr. Mayor, you probably know eight physicians filled. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. And also, correct. we're given this, money's uh, up front for somebody to come in. We, we need them to come to work. That's an incentive for them to come to work. But also, my understanding, uh, Rusty, you can tell me if I'm right on this, this also um, will uh, give the uh, people that's been there working, they're going to be able to get the same amount of money. Is that right, Rusty? Is that right. way it works now? When we all looked at this, and uh, I think uh, Robert had actually brought it up in one of the meetings, and Jeff had been looking at this for a while uh, and discussed it about two months ago. And I think once the, Jeff got with CTAS, it was one of the things that they said that it needs to happen. And it will actually, you'll sign up to, at your anniversary. And you help me, Bruce. At your anniversary time, or times, you'll sign up, and you'll get that bonus for a year. You can get it. In a lump sum, or you can get it each month on check or payday, uh, but you sign up for a year. And if you decide you want to leave, then you've got to reimburse the county back for that. Uh, it's a trial run. We'll see how it goes. How many, how many permits are we down right now, Bruce? Three permits. And we're down three right now. And, and the last time I spoke to you, I think Anderson County was down 11. And, Union County was down four, Scott County was down about six, and actually in the last couple of weeks I attended Rome State, uh, their graduation class in Harriman, and there was only three people that graduated from paramedic school. So there's not a whole lot of emphasis on this job. Now Jeff and uh, J. Harold Willoughby had actually went to Scott County and spoke to them at the Technology Center. They're gonna start training that. So that's going to be a help to us. I think we're going to start back in the high school again with the EMT training. Uh, this will entice them to come in. If we don't, we've been sitting for a couple months. We, what, two months ago, we passed this extra ambulance, and uh, we've thrown it out there. We've talked to people. We've sent it out. 
nobody, everybody's jumping on the bandwagon other places. Uh, AMR, I think, is paying a $5,000 sign-on bonus. And a lot of them's going to AMR, you know. But it's a trial run. We'll see how it goes. But it's going to have to come out of that savings of that um, overtime. I recommend if you're going to the TCSA post-legislative conference that we all talk to our uh, association uh, directors and talk about affecting how we're training paramedics in Tennessee next year. Uh, probably won't be a, a dollar figure kind of move, but it'll be something where we can at least get a study uh, to see why we're declining. I think we all have a pretty well informed opinion about it, uh, but the health department needs to know what the impact is at the ground level. And I think we have a chance to do that in the next legislative cycle. So. But actually, it's not going to come out of the county coffers. It's coming out of this overtime that we've budgeted in every year. If we can get that under control and get people that's working there happy, that's working and not having to work double shift and triple shifts and you feel a lot more comfortable. We've all worked. We've all know how that is, you know, to be in a position that you can't leave. You've got to work. And, they, and that's one of those things, one of those positions that you just can't walk and leave your post. Uh, you get to a certain point, you're just dead tired. So I think it'll build morale too. Uh, I think it was a great idea. But it may be short-lived with these other counties. Mr. Kids, real quick. Uh, to add to some of that, uh, as is going directly uh, to the media that's here, uh, Lafayette Press, et cetera, um, if anybody's needing a job and has the qualification for EMS and stuff, uh, Camel County needs uh, people to work. There's people working overtime that's having to work several shifts over. So I, I would appreciate that the media would uh, let, let the people know, and I appreciate it. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Douglas, about what uh, about what uh, figure do you look at for a starting uh, position? Starting out, uh, forty. A paramedic starts out at forty. Forty-six thousand a year. Oh my gosh. That's all I got. Any other discussion? Right. What's the EMT? About yeah. Yeah, discussion. Wow, that's Please vote yes or no. Press <laughs> confirm on the endorsement for the bonus plan. Does anyone wish to change their vote? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 13 yes, but pass. <coughs> Another item, Commissioner Orr? Just, just a little update on the building at the EMS that we was doing the storage building. It's in the dry as of this evening by the building trades. So you'll be overseeing the rest of it, the sheetrock, the wire, and all that. So we're in the dry. Hopefully we can get this in and out of the way within the next. And it looks like it's staying within inside the budget perimeters. If I'm correct, we skipped Commissioner Nance. No. Okay. Thank Commissioner Kitts. Oh no, I'm a good. Thank you. Okay, Commissioner Higginbotham. The only one I have, I think Danny actually spoke to the company of PBA talking earlier. Uh, they came in and done a walk down a few weeks ago regarding boat docks and boat ramps. And things of that nature and hopefully we'll hear something back in the next few weeks on that and also tomorrow we're going to be in a gathering on a TCSA conference I'm going to speak with Charlie Curtis regarding the uh, resolution that other counties adopted with the uh, safe environmental problems so I'll try to bring it back next month that's all I've got Commissioner Bruce still uh, May 30th May 30th at 5.30, uh, we start the budget process. Okay. Um, Patricia, we're about finished. You want to give a quick update about what we're facing out at the shelter real quick? Absolutely. Mr. Chairman, why do you Dwayne Baird had actually put on the agenda about the caboose move. Are we going to actually vote on it tonight, even if he's... 
We're going to hold? Okay. Yeah, we're going to discuss it. We're going to dis I talked to him today, and we're going to discuss it further probably okay. next month. Okay. All right. But we've had a challenge at the shelter, and Trish can bring you up to speed there. I sent out an email today. Okay. Um, we have. We've had a serious challenge. Um, about two and a half weeks ago, we had a dog um, that showed symptoms of pneumonia. So we took the dog to the vet, and um, we quarantined the shelter, not knowing what it possibly was. Um, we actually got back our second, third round of testing this weekend. Um, we had one case uh, that was positive for canine parrot influenza. Um, I can't find any other shelters in this part of the state that have had canine parrot influenza in over a year. Young Williams had it last year, from what I understand. Um, don't know where it came from or how we got it, but it has wound up at our shelter. It is an airborne illness. It's a virus. Um, what was it, how it was explained to me today was it's similar to if you have a kindergarten class and a whole bunch of newly vaccinated children and they come to school and somebody sneezes and everybody in the class can get sick. So everybody in our shelter has been sick. Um, we've had two necropsies done at the University of Tennessee. The University of Tennessee has done our testing. They then deferred to the University of Florida who um, suggested that we have some testing done at IVEX in California. We FedEx those samples over um, last week and we got the results back. <coughs> so we have one case of para influenza and the other tests have came back positive for pneumovirus and mycoplasma, which are just two other pneumonias. So um, I'm getting conflicting information as to how to control it. So we're going to keep the shelter closed to intakes until at least Friday. Um, and that is just simply to protect privately owned animals and public animals. Because if we release an animal into the public, whether it be adopted or go to a rescue, and it then infects the home or the rescue that it goes to, then we're just going to be spreading it. So we're just going to keep our germs to ourselves until, and just ride it out and see what happens. So. And I sent uh, Amanda the, the documents there to push out to each of you and have uh, today. So. Uh, but when we have not, what we've been doing, um, we've been, do, we have been, not really nicely, but we have been sending all of our non-emergency animals um, to neighboring shelters and to HSTV in Knoxville. So any animal that comes in that absolutely has to be surrendered or absolutely has to be picked up, we aren't bringing them in our building, we're not processing them, we are simply contacting other <coughs> shelters and sending them straight there. Uh, we've been using a van as an intake, we just kind of turned it on, loaded the animals in it as they came in and just drive them to other places, just so we don't have to bring additional animals in and expose them. So. And I'm sure they're actually working with you the other shelters they are, yes. Mm -hmm. We pretty much filled them up, so um, we really need this to come to a close. But I, I feel like it is, and um, we only lost a, a couple of um, What's the population right now? 26 dogs, 80 cats. Our feline herd is completely healthy. Um, everybody's healthy and happy as far as that goes. So. Um, and we actually we have dogs in five kennels outside um, and we managed to keep those dogs healthy as well we haven't sent them anywhere um, just in case but we managed to keep them healthy so we've um, we think we have designated which dog would be our ground zero dog so yeah, I was going to ask you, since you said Friday, of course, it's going into the weekend and everything. Do you think probably by Monday or Tuesday you guys are pretty good shape, or how do you see it? I, I really, I it's don't, hard to say. I don't know, yeah. Um, what, probably June the 1st is our current test. Yeah, um, we're actually, we're closed on Sundays and Mondays. Yeah, that's what so I was that thinking. Could, that'll give our, our kennels a few more days. That's kind of what I was getting at there, yeah. that you're going to have some extra days there. We'll probably have, um, if, if they do tell us to go ahead and open on Friday, we'll probably have an influx of animals um, to take in. But my plan is to put them outside the best we can and give our kennels a few more days. 
Um, the viruses are not very sturdy, so if there's no live host, they will eventually die on their own, um, even if you don't even if you're not able to eradicate them with chemicals. So the dogs, the, my one main concern would be is uh, the animals that's been coming in, say like if a dog looks good or a cat looks good, you're taking, you're putting that, taking it somewhere else, is that right? That's, that's what I want to know, thank yes. you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're not bringing anything in. Thank you. Yeah, we are, but not dogs. Right. Thank you for the update, Andy. Uh, three things from the workshop. Uh, Mary Gazingo Smith was thank you. asking about a phone through AT&T for information that's been sent to um, Alan, our contact at and He's going to look at why she can't get a phone with the neighbors having on both sides. And I have posed the question about building permits and if there's anything about zoning ordinances concerning lots to Jordan, which is our plan in Knoxville. Still waiting on our uh, information back. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Uh, the actual next day I was sent by the general manager to that site <laughs> and it's not the Follett Utilities light or pole and there's nothing they can do about it and what I found out because we actually met with uh, Tim Planter this week that he didn't know of any kind of control in place for lighting. Uh, in the state of Tennessee, the only thing that they know of of lighting was, you know, vehicles, you know, certain types of lights on vehicles, and high beams. Uh, so. I know a little bit about this. They have neighbors that have That's some That's my understanding, you know. We'll find out hopefully more tomorrow. We should be around some smart people tomorrow <laughs> that maybe have dealt with this before. Jordan said he wouldn't care to go visit with the neighbors and talk. And good luck with that. Okay. Bring us to the agenda and motion to adjourn. Commissioner Ork. Before you adjourn, make one real quick, and I know we... Johnny Bruce, get back here. <laughs> We've actually had a little snafu with the building codes, and uh, to, no. next month, hopefully, we'll get a, a committee together and discuss it in depth. Uh, may have to look at some other w different ways or means, but I want the blessing from the commission uh, unanimously if we can get it. I don't want to do away with the building codes, but something's going to have to change with the inspector we have in this county. And that's my opinion. Uh, and maybe have some of the thoughts too, but I'll find out more as it goes. I know Sue and Johnny and Goat and a couple of us is with, was, was actually on commission when this was thrust upon us or they'd take our three star away. I'm sorry, Mayor. <laughs> But we need to definitely look at this within the next month or two. I'm sorry. I'm thinking two years. Rusty. Rusty, come here. Make sure. And see, these kids graduate from high school because two years are free. That won't cost me anything. They're, they're out just making that money. I'll pay their stuff back. And they think, they think that uh, more or less incentive in a bonus.